So, your Bitcoin transaction got stuck. Maybe you paid a low fee, or the mempool was just full at the time. There's two options for getting it unstuck. The first one is called RBF, replace by fee, and CPFP, child pays for parent. The first one, replace by fee, is opt-in only, meaning if you made a transaction and didn't specify that you will be enabling RBF, you won't be able to change it after. There are four types of RBF. Full RBF, which lets you replace an old transaction no matter what as long as you pay enough of a fee. Next is opt-in RBF, which means you have to opt-in before you submit a transaction. So you have to know whether you're going to use it or not before you submit the transaction. First scene safe RBF only lets you replace the transaction, but you have to keep the same outputs as before. So it must go to the same address and the change must go to the same address as before, but the fee obviously has to be different. Delayed RBF is kind of the same as full RBF, except you have to wait a certain amount of time after the mempool has seen the transaction. At the moment, wallets that do support RBF are the Armory Bitcoin Wallet, the Bitcoin Core Wallet, Bitcoin Knots Wallet, and the Electrum Wallet. Next is CPFP, which stands for Child Pays for Parent, and you don't have to opt in for this one, and basically the newer transaction that you submit after the old transaction is going to pay the fee for the newer transaction and the old transaction. But mining pools have to have this option enabled if they want to mine CPFP transactions. At the moment, wallets that support CPFP are the Armory Bitcoin Wallet, the Bitcoin Core Wallet, Bitcoin Knots Wallet, and the Electrum Wallet. Both options are good for getting a transaction unstuck, but the best way would be CPFP, Child Pays for Parent.